Welcome to an overview of the Excel OPC Alarms and Events Test Client. This video assumes that you have a basic understanding of OPC Alarms and Events, the event fields, and subscriptions. We recommend that you watch our OPC Alarms and Events overview before watching this video. Excel has developed two OPC Alarm and Events client products. Our free OPC test tool, the topic of this video, allows users to test OPC DA, HDA, and Alarm and Event servers. TopView Alarm and Notification software supports many data sources, including OPC Alarms and Events. Users can monitor and log events from multiple OPC A&E servers, send email, SMS, and voice notifications for specific events, remotely view details from desktop and mobile devices, create event reports, perform analytics, and much more. First, a quick overview of the topics in this video. We will use the same example bakery facility and alarms as in the OPC Alarm and Events Overview video. We'll start with an overview of the bakery and the alarms. Next, we'll show you how we configure the bakery alarms in our OPC Alarm and Events server. To do this, we will describe the configuration of our measurement tags and alarms, which we created in a Kepware OPC DA and OPC a &E server. Then we will demonstrate our OPC test tool for alarms and events. You will learn how to access OPC a &E servers, configure subscriptions, and view subscription events. Our example facility is a bakery. The bakery contains two buildings. Each building contains two mixers and one oven. The buildings, mixers, and ovens have names which we will use to address them in OPC a &E. The mixers have alarms for low and high mixing speed. The ovens have alarms for low and high temperature, as well as rate of change alarms for temperature. To demonstrate the OPC test tool, we wanted to show both the measurement values through OPC DA and the alarms created from these measurement values in OPC alarms and events. To do this, we're using a Kepware OPC DA server with the OPC alarms and events plugin. Our bakery mixing speeds and oven temperatures our measurement values retrieved from instrumentation and available in a programmable controller. We've used Kepware to access the values within the controller and expose them through OPC DA. The Kepware Alarm and Events plugin allows us to create OPC a &E events from OPC DA tags. We use this plugin to create the level and rate of change alarms for our bakery. In my bakery, I have two buildings each building has two mixers and one oven. The mixers have a speed measurement and the ovens have a temperature measurement. For this demonstration, I use the Kepware OPC DA simulator to create my six measurement tags. The tag names displayed on the right side of the Kepware configuration tool contain the measurement type, mixer speed or oven temperature, and the building number one or two. The mixer speed tags contain an A or B since there are two mixers in each building. The Excel OPC test tool supports both OPC DA and OPC alarms and events. I can use the OPC test tool to view the current values of the six measurement tags in my bakery. To do this, I define the OPC DA server to access, browse for tags within the server, then retrieve the current values of the tags. Within the tool, I define a server alias to point to an OPC DA server. I define the alias my OPC DA server to point to the Kepware OPC DA server on the local machine. I can browse the OPC DA server to select my six bakery measurement tags. Now that the tags are in my list, I can retrieve the current values. To create the alarm events, I'm using the Kepware OPC a plugin. 
This plugin lets me create alarms by configuring conditions for my OPC DA measurement tags. On the left side of the screen, I can create my bakery areas and sources. Each building is an area, each source is a mixer or oven. Each source has an assigned OPC DA tag, and I've assigned my mixing speed and oven temperature tags to each source. On the right side of the screen, I can create alarm conditions for each source. For the oven temperatures, I created high and low level alarms and rate of change alarms. For the mixers, I created high and low level alarms. Within each alarm condition, I can define the alarm threshold or limit, severity, and custom messages for into alarm, out of alarm, and acknowledge events. As an example condition configuration, here's how I configured the high temperature alarm for oven one. In the left screen, I configured the severity and messages for the three condition events, into alarm, out of alarm, and acknowledge events. In the right screen, I configured the alarm limit value. My oven temperature high limit is 422.5 degrees. The Excel OPC test tool supports both OPC DA and OPC alarms and events. I can use the OPC test tool to view the alarm events from my bakery. To do this, I define the OPC a &E server to access, the subscription, and subscription filter. I can then run the event viewer to view and save subscription events. Within the tool, I define a server alias to point to an OPC a &E server. I define the alias myOPCAE server to point to the Kepware OPC alarm and event server on the local machine. Now I can configure a subscription for my server. I will create a new subscription named Bakery Alarms. On the left side of the screen, I can configure the subscription filter. The subscription filter contains five fields, event type, severity, category, area, and source. On the right side of the screen, I can query the server for available categories, areas, and sources. You can select a category, area, or source and add it to the filter. I want my subscription to receive all bakery condition alarm events. To configure the subscription, I will set the area filter to building one or building two. Next, I will save the subscription. The event viewer can now be used to view events from the subscription. The event viewer can be used to display events from a subscription. The subscription name is displayed at the top of the screen. I can view the subscription filter. The subscription is not active until I click Start. As new events occur, they will be displayed in the viewer at the top of the list. I'll let the subscription run for a few seconds, and then stop it. The color of each row indicates the event type. In our bakery, all events are condition events. When we first start the subscription, we perform a subscription refresh. This command returns a list of current active, inactive, and acknowledged events. The first column indicates if an event was returned as part of a refresh. We also configured our subscription with a five second keep alive timer. The keep alive events are indicated by the second column named heartbeat and have no row color.
The other columns indicate the event field properties. These fields are part of the OPC a &E specification and described in our OPC a &E overview video. The bakery events include alarm and return to normal events. If we look at the event message column, we see both active and inactive messages. As we discussed in the OPC a and &E overview video, the following steps can be used to identify alarm active events. First, make sure the event type is condition. Next, check if the current state includes active. Then check the changed field to ensure that both active and subcondition have changed. The current condition can be retrieved from the subcondition field and the alarm message from the message field. If you'd like to save the details of the displayed events, you can save them to a CSV file. Thanks for watching the overview video of our OPC Alarm and Events test client. For more information on OPC Alarms and Events or to download this free client tool, please visit the URL displayed near the top of the screen.